up there and we said that our platform is God, family, and country, and that it's limited government, fiscal responsibility, free enterprise, and something we need to talk more about is personal responsibility. And then we went up there and said that we were going to challenge the status quo and everybody said we were crazy. People said, well, if we get rid of Boehner, who's going to be the replacement? And one name kept coming up more than anybody else out of the 247 members of Congress, and it came up over and over and over again. Please help me welcome to the stage the next Speaker of the House, that person I told you with integrity, character, humility, and faith, Mr. Daniel Webster. It's either power or principle. So I decided when John Boehner re uh, resigned to run, run on one thing. My, my job and my message and my mission is not to defeat some other candidates that's running for Speaker of the House. My message and my mission and my, my desire is to change, transform, not just fix the United States Congress and turn it from a power-based system to a principle-based system. Uh, we're going to give it everything we got. Ted Yoho is right by my side. Uh, I'm going to make him really important if I get to be important. And we got a big group, a pretty good-sized group, and we're just pressing on. I know there's a committee. It's the ABW committee, anybody but Webster. And they're working hard to, to do me in. And I know it's going to be a tough climb. Because, why? Because they dislike me? Not necessarily. They don't want to give up the power. It's hard to let go. But that's what we're aiming on doing. We're going to push down that pyramid of power, spread out the base, and make the United States Congress a principle-based body.